Updated. Are, are we in a new video now? Are we ready to Spyro? I don't know. Let me check. I have the YouTube app. So does everybody else. Uh, wait. Oh. For some reason it said my account was offline. It's weird. Uh, not that I can tell. Other well, you're just... not going to be able to tell. It's We're only going to know in the... Uh, all right, here's In the what, video editor Here's what later. it looks like. Okay, that's fine. Okay. No, we won't be able to tell till later. Sorry for the uh, slow start and or end to the stream, guys. We, uh... Learning experience. Okay, Learning. let's get Spyro going. Yeah, let's get Spyro going. And hope that my controller cooperates well with, uh, with the intricate uh, mechanics of... Yeah, hopefully uh, you don't have to set it up again. All oh, right, we got uh, new things to try at some point. We oh, Virtual Boy! Paper Mario and, multiplayer and, and Mar Super Mario 64 multiplayer. Sanford. That's going around everywhere now. Oh, is it? Yeah, we, everyone's doing Mario. We already, but we already fucking did. Oh, man, and we got to ride the hype train. Damn it! If only we didn't do uh, Super Mario 64. Yeah, I mean, we could still just fuck around. It doesn't have to be like a full playthrough. Yeah, do you have... Just aim for, like, specific stars. Aim for just enough stars. Oh, hey, we're here now. Yep. Hi. Bit dark. Yeah, it's a little dark. And we we put the light in the recording well, studio. Well, it's dark because it's winter. Yeah. Okay. Is this going to work? It is. It goes in... Oh, damn it. Sorry. Uh, number two. I like how that happened as soon as I let it go. Like, his fate was just waiting for me to release the trigger. Seems good so far. The adventure continues. So you thought we were going to make it through this whole world in one stream. Fuck that. I, I was a poor, naive fool. I don't think, I don't think we're going to make it through half. Maybe a third... I think this world has, I want to say, eight levels. Because right. last world had six, and there are 14 talismans total. Okay, triggers work. What are we? What do we have left? Uh, we have eight talismans, and whatever orbs are around. We can uh, go back to the previous world and get that ladder orb now if we want to. Oh. We learn to climb and go back. This one? Turn around. Oh. Back down in the pit. On the back right. Back here? The pit, the on the your pit. right. This way. Yes. There. On your right. This there way. You go. Yes, in the pit. Okay. Awesome. And then the left. Your other left. There we go. Fucking. We found it. Oh, this is summer forest. We're back. We learned how to climb shit. <laughs> we can get the fi we can get the final talisman. Yeah. 100 is wow. percent. We got all the talismans, but there's a uh, there's the orb on the top of the ladder, and there's that one orb in glimmer that needed a ladder. Oh yeah, we need to get the glimmer orb. But where is it? We let's... can let, let's let's go to the overworld one first. I think we can warp to glimmer. Oh okay. So, so go into the thing to the left. I think this one. Left. In but behind that pillar. Behind this. Keep going straight, and then left. Okay. In there. Good. Nope, never mind, that's backwards. Alright. We gotta go through the lake. Down there. Down here. I forgot, that's a very uh, jarring sound. Yeah. God damn it. Hey Spike, what are you doing today? I don't know, I'm helping out this fauna with this, uh, with this problem. Hey Twilight, I grew wings! Twilight, am I supposed to grow wings? Yes, Spike. You're a dragon. Dragons can fly. Oh, that's neat. But I can't fly with mine. Oh, right. There's one in there, too. But first, let's get the one. Turn around. Oh, in here? It's in this chamber. In this room. Uh, there it is. So there's just no humans in this world. They don't exist. I'm trying to think if there are ever any humans in the Spyro continuity. Not that I'm at least not until Skylanders. And you know what? It's a better. It's it, this universe is better for it. I, I 
say. Yeah? Humans no. do have a tendency to fuck things up. Yeah. Hey, a dragon, let's kill it, eat it, and skin it! Spyro Skyrim Edition. God. Well, this. Oh, here's the difference. Right? Sky, uh, Spyro is, is a relatively nice guy, right? Yeah. Uh, aside from the first game where he was, like, kind of a cocky dick, he's kind of mellowed out and had his try balls to, drop, so... Try to pause and go to a level. Or go to the guidebook. Maybe you can warp from there? Glimmer? No? Okay, I guess not. Guess we gotta walk. Okay. Well, we might as well do this one first, then. Which is in the summer idol place. Summer idol. The pretty portal. Yeah, that one. Sunny beach. <coughs> so, uh... Okay, so we need to climb the ladder. Right? Yep. <laughs> By the way, apparently it's not just, uh... Apparently it's not just the electric glasses dude. Mm -hmm. Sp Spyro is voiced by Tom Kenny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so he does uh, does that he's, as well. He's, his most sedate... Uh... And you know, Spyro's really, really close to his just normal speaking voice. That's cool. Just keep going through the levels, not till the end. Alright. Or the beginning in this case. Oh no, this is the end. This is the beginning of the level. You gotta go to the end of the level is where the ladder is. Sorry, I, I thought, we, for some reason I thought, hey, we're beating at the very end. No. Nope. that makes sense? You gotta go through the level. Oh, here's a ladder. That's just gems up there. Ah, screw it. We've learned, <laughs> we've learned how to climb. We, we, we have to, to abuse this. All right. I've grown to tolerate the music. Yeah. It's very dissonant, but... A bit, I guess. Turtle. Turtle! I'm 999 years old. I don't give a fuck. What is your opinion on, uh... Okay, I've asked, I've asked your opinion on Rayman before. Would you, uh, would you want to stream it together? Rayman? Yeah, the original one. Ah. Uh. The, or else I've if, never seen the ending of the game, so... Or yeah. else, if you have no interest, I would just do it on my own. I'll do it. Well, I'll... I, th I remember that game giving me a lot of fucking... It's grief. not an easy game. Speaking of which, I... Hi, Spyro. It's a good thing you're... But I already solved your problem. I wonder how many of the bit characters Tom Kenny voices. Hey, Tom Kenny, how about you just voice all the voices? We saw him at, uh... Well, we I saw, saw him. We I saw his we, panel at Comic-Con. We saw John Delancey. And, yeah. Uh, and after that, I'm like, hey, I, I should probably learn how to draw and grab uh, some uh, markers. That was something I'll maybe get around to. But you saw Tom Kenny. You said that he constantly talked over the voice of Squidward. Yeah, Tom Kenny is just as excitable as his role of SpongeBob is. He's a very, uh, very excitable, very talkative dude. Poor yeah. Roger Bumpus couldn't get a word in. Does he look? Did Roger Bumpus look miserable? Uh, he was an older dude. He didn't look miserable. He did. He looked. He looked used to it. <laughs> oh man! SpongeBob. <laughs> he also mentioned <laughs> it's like a real life. It's like they're their characters in real life. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get got again if you're not careful. I was. I'm sorry. I was hacking up a lung. Now just die. Thank you. I need some food. They also mentioned about the progression of the show Spongebob over the course of the series, how it was, er, in season one, a lot drier. Yeah. And then it, uh... It got a lot zanier over the course of it. And, like, season one, Squidward was a very, uh, sarcastic, kind of, meh, dude. Yeah. Uh, wow, he spiked you! He meteor smashed you! I, for some reason, I thought he was friendly. That wasn't, that wasn't a very good decision. One hit point left. Okay, you got him. And, uh, oh, yeah, like, right. once once the producers of the show, the director, learned that he that Roger Bumpus could yell in the Squidward voice, <laughs> that was the turning point. The that was show when, was... That was when Squidward started being the slapstick guy. The show was never the same again. After that, he had to yell in every episode, because Squidward got hurt somehow. I, in a way, I feel kind of bad for Roger Bumpus. Yeah. 
It seems it's like it's like uh, it's like a fucking BoJack Horseman uh, Captain Peanut Butter situation. Smack. So the uh, I'll tell you this like uh, there's the ladder. BoJack is uh, surprisingly tolerable. You it has a character you watching with, a bit of it. Yeah, a little bit. But there's like a there's like two, hello young one yeah whatever there's a chef up mop it he wants to make soup out of our turtles can you stop him I can tell your story first there's like a Bojack Horseman who's like a who's like a cynical like asshole who tell your story first before you jump up here or or jump up here one or the okay. other uh, the 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 bottom line is that uh, is that uh, uh, Bojack is a really uh, is a really toxic Squidward, and Captain Peanut Butter is a really naive SpongeBob. Yeah, that was kind of their dynamic. Well, farther than where they are. Like, crank yeah. up the cynicism, add in some adult themes, and you got them in real life. Your turtle friends happen to make a very good soup, if I can catch them. Stop you talking can about food, I'm hungry. Like, but I'm feeling awfully hungry. Why don't I just kick your ass? How about can I, I just set you on fire? I'm just gonna kill you. How about no? No, I gotta play the mini game. All right, let's do it. This mini game is difficult. Oh, don't don't spoil it for him, Mr. Guided Person. Yeah, it seems pretty hard. Oh, they come back. I'm just gonna shove him in the water. How about that? Probably a good idea. You're safe. To save you, I must burn you. You can't let the chef. Uh, you can't let the chef cook them. So you have to set them on fire before that happens. <laughs> no, you don't. Go back. There's only the water on that one side, by the oh, way. Oh, I have to. Okay. So is this just face? It's just uh, the phase is repeating itself because I have to shove him in the water. Well, the turtle doesn't go anywhere until it goes in the water. Okay. So, you saved a few turtles. Yeah. I know where those came from. Here, take this home and go away. Go away. Why? Why did you allow me to try? He's trying to bribe you? Is this minigame difficult, though? Is there something I'm missing? Well, there's another orb. He said there's more where those came from. Okay. I think you have to talk to him again. Maybe. No? You can try one more time. Oh, so it comes in, so it is coming in phases. Alright. I guess his camera angle could be a lot worse. Yeah. Okay, I'll deal with you in a second. I wonder what it is about them that uh, draws them to the suit. The bait. The turtle pheromones in there. Okay. You stay back there, and you go over here. Ah, shit! No! Get back away! Hey, you saved it. How, what, uh, what leeway do I have? Not okay. much. Oh my god. They're like lemmings! Hey, you finally tried charging. Oh god damn it. I have to charge. It's less of a difficulty curve and more like a difficulty cliff. A bit, yeah. <laughs> Here, I'll give you an easy one. That's just to whet the appetite for suffering. I love the smell of turtle soup in the morning. I love the smell of suffering in the morning, huh? I suppose you can try again, but I doubt you'll do any better. All right. So I have to charge? What kind of accent? You don't have to. It just okay. They go farther. All right. What kind of accent is that? It's like vague French. Uh, it's Cajun. Yeah. Cajun. That's it's an actual. Not, not it's Louisiana. French, French Louisiana. It's an actual thing. Okay. I believe. I'm pretty sure. No. No. Stay away. Thank you. Okay. Two down. Only that many to go. It's fine. After a point, they stop uh, being summoned. I just need to herd them. Yeah? Oh. Herd! Mush! Are you herding? 
At a certain point, I'm just like, you're keeping them out, but you're making no progress. There's still a lot going in the water. <coughs> so, oh, difficulty level five. Okay, where are you? Yeah, this right. is one of the game's notorious ones. So, turtling isn't gonna help. That was kind of a joke, but that was also somewhat legitimate. Yeah. Crap. No, I got it. Oh, no! No! Oh! That one was kind of the controls as well. Yeah. This has become a fucking, uh... This has become a vendetta. Yeah. It's like, I don't care if the title's not on the line. I'm gonna beat you just for the pleasure of it. Nope. Stay away. No, get over there. Thank you. Okay, the re- look. Oh shit, you are right! It just hit- it just moves him in a different way. Yeah. <gasps> I see how this works! Ah shit! You're, you're getting it slowly. Okay. So if I want to do precision nudging, I use the fire. Yeah. But if I want them to just get the fuck out of the way, I just smack him. The charge is for distance. Okay, where are you? I wonder how far they go with the super flame. You know the one you get at the end of the game? Oh. They don't know it goes through them, but... Did they go in? I think so. Right. If only we had like a turtle counter or something. This game is- this mini game is not turtly enough. Not turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle! No, no, no. I've heard Vinny and Vine Sauce reference the Turtle Club a couple times. Of course. So he apparently does. it's at least culturally relevant enough for him to know about it. That movie. Yeah, I, I knew about it, I just never saw it until you showed it to me and you were like, listen, this is a really funny movie. I didn't say I didn't say it was that hyped. I, I didn't hype it up that much. You said you liked it. And you know what, that's fine. It was good. It had its it moments. Good, dumb fun. It had its moments. Just don't tell this the nostalgia critic you liked that movie. He he got yeah, real. I think he got really pissed off when he was like talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. It's actually really simple. Yeah. Because because once you got the angles figured out, you want them to come to you, and you just like hit them against the wall. It's like breakout. It's only difficult if you only have the fire to use, in which case it becomes, like, uh... Impossible? Yeah. Okay, we did it! We got all the it? Oh, sure! Don't the hungry, chef! What I want to serve my dinner guests for the first course! Uh... Cow? Dra dragon? Wait, no, cancel that. Something else. Starfish? Duck? How's, how's duck sit Oh, you? duck sounds delicious right now, and I say that because I'm hungry as fuck. I think you can just pause and exit level. Yeah. Well, that was fun. That was, uh, that was a... That was less time than I thought it would take once I realized what the second, uh, level's gimmick was. That was one of the game's harder gems, so it's not that that hard, but... It's a little challenge. Alright, now we gotta walk to Glimmer. Please, Glimmer. Back what do you way. What do you think, Trader? Your what? game camera is currently in passive mode. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. Is this the task you were assigned? <laughs> you were You were assigned the task of cinematography. Camera flag if trigger. If like, I can change the game camera to use active mode. In active mode, the camera moves much faster. Uh. Oh, so there's two speeds, low sensitivity and high sensitivity? Active mode moves faster and stays behind your character better. Passive mode relies more on you moving the camera. Okay, all done. Alright, let's see if this has any decent change. Ooh. Not gonna lie, that's not bad. Yeah. Alright, so... Where is Glimmer Forest? Back to the beginning. 
of this area. Okay. Down the water. Yeah, that's right. Dragon go into the water. Dragon can swim. We remember when Spyro couldn't swim? Yeah. No, he can. Well, it's okay. It's like all the uh, all the water in Dragon Land is like polluted as shit. I, wanna, I don't the, think those the, guys fish. Can. I don't think they give you things. No, they don't. They're just decoration. Fish are furniture, not pets. Fish, fish are fish are friends, not food. All right, back to the right. Come through there. I'd say it's just this me not playing this game, but you saw what happened in Super Mario World or what? Super Mario RPG. That you don't remember where things are. Well, I didn't re remember that there that the Press flag. The guidebook by pressing. Yeah, yeah, yeah guidebook. Yeah. My guidebook. But Spyro, your guidebook. Let's <laughs> get into Gateway to Glimmer. You know, Glimmer, it's like the whole game, according to Europe. <laughs> no one plays past the first level. Glimmer. <laughs> Maybe it's like Glimmer. Maybe it's like the border town. Nice it's like, welcome to Glimmer. Glimmer. Unfortunately for us, a mama blizzard just showed up. Again? Yeah, they can't keep a good. They can't keep a good blizzard down. There's not even really a requirement for getting the talisman. You don't have to kill a single lizard. You just get to the end of the level. They'll be like, Thanks, Spyro! You sure helped out! Yeah, I guess. Somehow. Alright, so into I... the cave. Go deeper into the cave. There we go. Feel the healing energy all around you. Now find your power animal. Oh. Spike sees a human. Now we need to kill things. Slide. We installed some gem lamps in this cave too, but they're even harder to keep going. You'll definitely need the super black power up to light the lamps. <coughs> oh, I thought that was Ron. No, it's stupider. It's Rue. Rue. Remember Winnie the Pooh, Kanga, and Rue? <laughs> so we need ten soul particles. The fuck's a Pooh Bear? Though. You don't want to know. Is it like an actual species of bear? Is it just a made up no. fictional thing? No, it's just totally fictional, of course. And as far as I'm aware. Hey, uh. Hey, Winnie. Hello. Oh, Baldo. <laughs> Winnie's so passive. Yeah. Like, that's a, that's a cre- that's a creature I believe doesn't have a vindictive bone anywhere in his body. I don't think he has a bone anywhere in his body. I, you know what I mean! That's a- that's a- that's a creature that just- that- <laughs> There's- You're a wizard, Pooh! That's nice. But Does I that mean I can- wizard. I'm just Pooh. I need- I can eat some honey now. Poo voices are hard to do. I need to find the poo within me. It's just kind of... It's just kind of... All the voices are sad, old British dude. That's a person who is is so pure he can't be corrupted. If I, I if you were to tell me that poo would go into a brothel and come out a virgin, I would believe it. <laughs> he wouldn't even know what was going on. He's like, oh, those nice women just with their pleasant dances. An enemy? Ah, uh, no, the blizzard's oh, he, he eats, eats a ladybug. There's a couple in the pit. Shame we didn't get Heartless Poo in the, Kingdom the, Hearts. The people... <laughs> no, the, no, you see, the Heartless trying to harvest his heart, and then they just, they just disintegrate. Yeah, they're so purified by the goodness of Poo. <laughs> well, not, not you like... You got enough. It's more like innocence. Yeah. I guess. It's kind of hard to explain, like... You got enough. I know. Go up the ladder now. Oh, I forgot the ladder's over here. You're very geographically challenged. Hang on up the ladder! I just, uh... Like, I don't know. Alright, where am I going? Uh, you gotta light the lamps around this inner cave here, hung from the ceiling. Okay. Do they go out? Yes. Of course they do. Hey! Imagine having uh, Winnie the Pooh as your Zonpok Toast spirit. 
be a little odd. It's like, like it'd be a Zonpok toe that couldn't cut anything. It'd just be a Thanks butter for knife. Me like the lamp spiral for spreading, for for spreading butter and honey. Like yes. <laughs> baseball game. It would belong to a chef. Uh, oh god, that's Sanji Zonpok toe. <laughs> Just Winnie the Pooh? I bet my Zonpok Toe will be uh, more awesome than yours, Mosshead! Hello! I'm good at spreading things. Oh. Like syphilis? <laughs> Pooh is just You know, constantly... if, Sanji, if Sanji actually had a success rate with women, he would totally be on the receiving victim of STD jokes. And you know that would make, actually make so much sense since the inner hollows are like the opposites of their actual, their original beings, right? God, yeah. You just got like this pure, innocent, totally oblivious to sex little Pooh Bearer as Sanji. Oblivious to sex and violence. Like something were to die, then Pooh was like, oh, he'll please sleep. He's never starved a day in his life. Pot belly poo. <laughs> so innocent. He sees a hollow and he's like, oh, you've lost your skin. Yeah? You want me to help you find it? Would you like me to stitch some for you? <laughs> God, Usagi's pet. <laughs> Sailor Moon and Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> That'd be a weird tag team. <laughs> okay, you know, no, I got it. The perfect tag team. Yeah? Sailor Moon, or not Sailor Moon, uh, Winnie the Pooh and Yotsuba. Sure, I could see the them girl. hanging out. Just... The girl, not the not the criminal organization. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> you just got all the, <laughs> just all the, you got like ten, like, uh, men in suits just wondering who they're gonna kill next, and Pooh just there's like, oh. Um, what, what if we didn't kill anyone? <laughs> We do. We can always Who choose. this guy again? We can choose not to kill anyone. Well, we need to get rid of Pooh. He's just—he's a doubter. We're trying to kill these people. He's just like we shouldn't. But we but can't. He owns like thirty percent of the company. And How is that possible? He's bought all these stocks. He bought. He bought like stocks worth like thousands of dollars for pennies because the girls. He bought it for all like the the girls who like. Uh, I bought these with the money I made working at the homeless shelter. <laughs> yeah, he's our uh, he's our spokesperson. They, they, nobody will ever believe the company's corrupt with him. The yotes of a mascot, Winnie the Pooh. Yet the cops are like are like they have Winnie the Pooh. You can go to the end of the world now, and we'll uh, go back to the second world again. I think on the right side. Actually, is there? Check if there's another orb we're missing here. All right. In the guidebook. There is. Uh. Summer forest. We're missing an orb. Yeah. Check these two gates. That you're no, right in front of. Oh. Uh. It's in the overworld. Okay. So. Colossus is good. Third place is good. Sunny Beach is good. Aquaria Towers is good. <clears throat> Ocean Speedway is good. Oh, well, we're good. We killed Crush. All right, Autumn Plains is the next world. Oh, so right. that only has two talismans. So uh, it's somewhere around here, then, right? Yeah. I was about to say the cops would would expect Winnie the Pooh to just be uh, to be well, fucking like, oh, he's just a stooge. It's a perfect criminal move. They wouldn't. The criminals wouldn't see that the cops would see through that shit. Where is it? Gotta just tell you. Uh. I guess not. I'll figure it out, I guess. You were on the right track. Oh, so. It was up there. I shouldn't have jumped off. We settle down for a nice, friendly game of cards. Yeah, you're on. Oh, why are you going in the speedway? Oh wait, you can't do two things at once. <laughs> How many Winnie the Pooh games are there? Got to be a couple. Lots. Oh, wh whoops. I don't know about that many. There's probably like one on the PlayStation One. I'd say. Uh, I don't know what else though. Well, I mean, back when it was still semi-popular, they did make a lot of games for it. The problem is, is that it's Winnie the Pooh, and 
There, you can't really have a lot of, uh... Exclu like, actual console games, not, like, educational PC computer games. Okay, I'm not saying they're educational PC garbage. I'm saying that it's win... Okay, name what you think is a system that a Winnie the Pooh game was on. And how many games that system had starring Winnie the Pooh. I think there was one on Game Boy. Yeah. I'm not okay, the kind of person to go out of my way to play Winnie the Pooh games. Yeah, hand handheld makes sense. I, I can see that. Okay, so if I hit the... So I need to somehow... Is there a bomb I can, like, uh, set? there's no bombs. Okay, well, uh... I guess that's the exit? What the f Oh, I know what I gotta do. You're a dragon, man! You gotta do dragon stuff! Okay. You gotta we'll use go. those things yours! Flock up! Oh. Nope, wrong button. Okay, let me, uh, let me double check. So... Not that. Triangle. Why? Got it. Oh, right, yeah. Okay, why? There we go. See, no matter what controller I use, I think in PlayStation. Because that's just what I always play with. I, I think in... I think in, uh... In Xbox 360. Oh man, just you wait. If, if we were playing Call of Duty right now, I'd be through this game already. Does that mean that your brain is more or less flexible than mine? Because mine hasn't updated since the PlayStation. I... Yours is a... Yours is a really stable, like, code. Mine's uh, open source. Yeah. I'd say. Yeah, they did it! It's on a pedestal and everything. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here now. Yeah, let's leave summer place. Let's go autumn. Let's go autumn and get sick. Other one. Left side. There you go. Bring some uh, jewels home to my uh, dragon concubines, or however the fuck, whatever kind of like. Are dragons monogamous? Oh, we haven't gotten to Spike's dragon concubines yet. Does he get some? Depending on the continuity. Oh, comic continuity. He has a comic concubine and he has a show concubine. He finds a female dragon he's got a crush on, huh? As a baby. Okay, well, so now okay, considering that dragons live hundreds of fucking years, baby in dragon terms probably means he's like actually like 10 or 13. Oh wait, no, he was like... Ha he was hatched in the course of the series, so he's like... I guess he's like 5 or something? He's old enough that he's like making decisions off of Princess Twilight's behalf. So does that mean dragons age faster? I, if you want to explore the world here and get like... Orbs first before you enter any portals. That's fine. Scorch the boss? No. Okay. That's so just it's... another level. That's the Arabian level. <laughs> okay. Spike's gonna wander around the desert lost, and then along the way he's just gonna see a bunch of uh, bunch of Gerudo. So is that our thing now? Is Spyro just Spike from MLP? <laughs> I don't know. Spike seems more emotionally mature than, uh, than... Okay, or no, know. sorry. Spyro seems more emotionally mature than Spike. You know what? If you cross Spyro with Winnie the Pooh, you get Spike. I guess so, yeah. He's a little pudgier. He's a little, uh... A little more pacifist. Yeah. But he's still a dragon, so you know he can kind of throw down. Yeah. And he's got some greedy tendencies. And swim in lava. That's a cool dragon thing. He's the kind of guy who... Like, if there's a one-of-a-kind thing and the villains want it, they, Pooh's like, It's okay, you can have it. Oh, hey, it's my favorite legend bear! Fuck, what do you want? portal to Zephyr here. And legend also has it that I know how to activate it. Furthermore, as I recall, the legend mentioned something about me activating... How much you want? It's not my fault, it's a legend. 400, huh? Okay. Thanks for the gem, Spyro. With all this cash, I can open a lizard burger shop in Skilo's Badlands. Stop talking about food! I'm hungry! Get some lizard burgers? <sighs> tastes like chicken. No, seriously, I've had lizard. It tastes like chicken. Yeah. There was a... Metro Speedway! 
Is it the flying level? Uh, yeah, it's all the speedway levels are the flying ones. There's okay. one per hub world. So we get started at the speedway and we run into Sonic? Sure. Start it. Is that a thing in Sonic? I think it's a Mania level. Oh, right. Okay, Sonic. You know, they, they, they remix a bunch of it. It's like, yeah, yeah. Green Hill Zone, Chemical Plant Zone, and then you have... They did that in Sonic Generations. That's popular. Hey, it's okay, buddy. Here you go. Have a bomb. So it's, uh, blobs versus birds. <laughs> We're fighting. Oh, are we on the side of the blobs? Okay, Spyro. Looks like we got us a bit of a situation here. Okay. The breeze builders have got us pinned down, and we've been waiting for a volunteer to blow up their munitions building. What? Looks like you're it. But sir, yes, sir! All right! Is that a dick? That's a dick on their flag. <laughs> not anymore, it's not! Oh my god, <laughs> Hey, Sarge! Good to see you! Sarge! Fuck it, I'll, I'll find, finally get some recognition! Oh yeah, Ratchet and Plank. That's something oh, we can play. A caterpillar. That's something I think we'd be able to play a lot better than, uh... Yeah, that's also Insomniac, so... Hopefully we get through the Spyros and we can start on that right away. Yeah. Is my plan. So we got a lot of shit. To Horse play. Sly Cooper. Yeah. <coughs> All right. Ah shit! Sly Cooper got his games, and then after that, Sucker Punch did in Infamous. Was that them? I think that was. It them. was. Yeah, it was them. And then uh, that would actually make sense because Sam was in uh, Sly Cooper, and then Infamous. And then uh... you know, missile birds. Fucking hell. Yeah, damn right you were pinned down. Hey. I'm just eating hits. What? Hey, you know what? You know what these those are? What? Cock rockets. Get it, cause the roosters. Fire the missile. Fire the missile. It's another thing we gotta continue. Is I'm gonna to try to cheat. Oh no, that's not gonna work. It won't let me. Just go after he fires the missile or jump over the missile. Jesus. Oh, he didn't explode. Need to heal. You're thinking like an F like an FPS like cover shooter game. Yeah. Not a, not platforming. Just jump over the fucking missiles. They're moving at two miles an hour. No, give me a gun. Give me a fucking assault rifle. I can take them. I gotta snipe the cocks. Cock snipe. Then I'll show you mine. You can't. I don't think you can get them from here. Right. They're not dropping anything. Just ignore them. Not dropping anything because I was harassing. Oh shit. Yeah, they were under fire. Or over fire. Man, the dragon's under fire. Spyro can't swim in lava. Sissy. There was a there was a study called Men Under Fire where it was determined that a bunch of people in Vietnam weren't actually like Oh, you're on my side. Game cannon just ain't working. Oh. It ain't working. It's all the cannons fault. Okay, Sergeant Tub. Oh! Oh, yeah! So when are we gonna meet por Porkins? Here, <laughs> give a dragon a cannon. <laughs> he needed that. Oh, sh you can uh, adjust the aim up and down, too. Oh, okay, inverted. That's what I was like. So you're a, you're a non-inverted player. Uh, That's a very divisive line with a lot of people. For some reason, I don't know why. Those people, like, I, so, like there are people who get pissed off when they see a streamer playing inverted or not inverted. Well, it doesn't affect. No, if it doesn't. If they play better is, that way, then it's it better for you. Thank you. I feel better now. Lose some shit up. God. All of these started off like a decent. Ish, uh, first person, uh, like, first person World War II game. And it just got insane. Yeah. Wasn't, I heard the first entry in the series was pretty weak, though. Uh, first entry of the series, uh, was radically different from, like, other games in the... Oh, my fucking god. That bird's gonna die. They introduced, like, the, uh... The first game had a health bar, right? Yes, it did. And the second game in all And, and you can pick up up to three weapons. As opposed to... Two. Okay. Which is the standard in all Call of Duty games. I, I, I didn't know that. I'm gonna shell that fucking bird! Oh, you got it! I got it! Good to have- Kill confirmed! 
trying to Donkey Kong us. You missed. Oh shit! There's more? So, uh. You know, someone made those bases. Those are valuable. So, the first three games were like World War II. Then it went to, to like. It was called Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. And that was Iraq, right? Uh. Middle East. Okay, so the plot of that game... You got one hit left, by the way. The plot of that game was a, br a bunch of uh, British dudes were, uh, were like, Hey, there's a nuke on this uh, on this boat. You better go get it. And they're like, okay, sure. And then they Still went out. Backwards. I'm trying to find some health. Uh, you said something, and I didn't quite catch it. I said you have one hit left, so uh, don't do anything stupid. Oh, that He doesn't have any missiles supplied to him. But it'll just smack you. <laughs> you stole my food! Slap! So a bunch of British dudes telling you to get a nuke, right? Yeah, well, they're they're told to get a nuke. They're like told, hey, these guys have a nuke, it might be con concerning. And they go there, and they, they're not able to get the nuke, but they're able to confirm that, yes, there is a nuke on board. Then some fucking jets shoot it down. I think they're Russian. Yeah. So the plot of the game is divided up into, oh, hey, there's this uprising in the Middle East. There's this uprising in the Middle East. We gotta go take care of it. And, and the British dude's going, uh, Hey, we gotta take care of these Russian uh, far-right dudes. Yeah. And, that's that, and that's how that game works. And then the then the, the game after that was uh, just World War II again, except it was the Russians versus uh, the Germans, and then uh, the Japanese war. Yeah. Which was, the Japanese part was actually really fucking scary at times. Because at any time, a bunch of Japanese dudes would grab up their, like, shit and go, BONSAI! Yeah. Pretty terrifying. Then there was, uh, Modern Warfare 2, in which it was, uh, Russia versus, uh, US. So it was less Modern War and more, uh, Cold War, but with modern weapons. Yeah. And it concerned, uh, Russian and the Russian invasion of, uh... Is that not supposed to go up there? It doesn't matter. Okay. There's no point to that. For now. It's not an enemy. It's not- it will do you no harm. This cow is not a threat. Oh, it is a cow. It's a weird mythic cow. Can I eat it? Well, you gotta flame it first. But I did. Yeah. No, you can't eat it. Okay. Sad. But yeah, it was like, uh... They kill a lot of, like, main characters in that game. Like, one, one of the main characters you play as gets, like, set on fire and thrown in a ditch. So the, the majority of the Call of Duty <laughs> games are not immediately related to actual wars. No. They're completely fictionalized. No. Uh, well, Black Ops uh, was the their take on Vietnam, and it wasn't, like, entirely in Vietnam. It was more like just the Cold War. Yeah. And, like, a character from World at War, which was the World War II game, shows up. His name was, uh, Victor Reznov. Yeah. He was, like, really good because he played, like, the really boisterous Russian dude. And then, uh, after that was Modern Warfare 3, and it was the continuing adventures of, uh, of, um, Russia versus everybody. And it had Delta Force. Yeah. Where, like, the top, the top tier A, like, uh, tier 1 ultra elite American Spec Ops dudes. Who all die. Except for the player character. He his character has disappeared when You're they're going in circles. I know. I'm trying to figure out where to go next. I fly off to there. But how do I get up here? Well, look around. Oh look, a worm. You failed a spot check. Over here. I there we go. TNT. Yeah, I can. So, uh. Jack talks about Call of Duty for a comfortably long time. Oh. Um, I don't mind that you talk about Call of Duty, it's just that you have trouble talking about one thing and also playing the game at the same time. I know. Okay. Oh, fuck me. I'm, uh. I'm in the middle of editing the story about a dude who's a hitman and is, uh, literally dying. Like, he's got an oxygen tank on him. <gasps> oh my god, that sounds it's amazing. kind of awesome. <laughs> that does sound awesome. So he's like, he's like wheezing, he's got like cancer, but he's still able to like, do hits? One. 
Oh, he's assigned to take do a particular hit. I'm not gonna go into details. Ah, uh, fair enough. That sounds awesome, though. I was picturing like a guy just. Uh, I'm taking these out. I don't think it's high enough. Come on, you know you want to walk in it. You, they're going in a stationary circle. If you have there we go. Okay, are you okay? Are you editing? Are you adjusting your aim? I'm editing my aim. Yes. Ah. Gotta climb up higher! Do you? There's something up there. Alright! We did it. Oh, I gotta do a running jump. Do you? You can glide. Dick wow. Fine! What an explosion! It sure is a good thing I have my helmet on! Oh yeah! <laughs> Uh, the colonel wanted me to give this talisman to you if you got through the breeze build of defenses. Good job, soldier. Thank you. Private, now let's get the orbs. You did it. We got a, a cherry bomb. A gem bomb. Alright, where's the rest of the... Whoa. We're... I am now looking for, for the optional stuff. Uh... One of them was involved the cows. Okay. Oh, hey, here we are. Oh, you're a wizard. It's Little Bo Peep, and I have lost my cowlicks. With these battles going on all the time, they keep running away. Can you help me get them back into my pen? Won't you help Little old Bo, little Bo Peep? Hey Bo, you gotta get this for the orb, Bo. So, so a great thing about uh, Modern Warfare 2 is that you play as a character. Change it. You, care, you play as a character called Ramirez. And he doesn't, of course, Call of Duty characters for the most part, they don't, they're not voiced, right? I don't know, are but, they? So you, so you have this one, like, dude, uh, called Sergeant Foley, and, uh, and he's just yelling at Ramirez to do shit. He's like, we can spot Ramirez, use your smoke grenades! Ramirez, get to the roof! Ramirez, use the drone, take everybody out! It's just, it's just telling, and this is the course of, like, several missions, and it's just this guy yelling at Ramirez, but like... You're, you're not Ramirez. No, you're Ramirez! Oh, okay. So you're just, you're just being unsubtly told, hey, do this, idiot! Yeah. Is that after you have a chance to figure it out, or are you just at the start of every mission? No, it's the start of every mission, and every and every time the mission objective pops up, it's just it's just uh, fully screaming at you. Yeah, he's like Ramirez, do this! What are you doing, you idiot? And it's like I think the Ramirez missions are. <laughs> and then it's just it's funny because some of the requests are. It, it, out of context, kind of insane. Ramirez, you need to secure that burger town! Yeah? It's just like, it's just like a bunch of, like, fucking rangers just hunkered down in a, in like a shitty ass, uh... Oh, this is cool. Oh! Oh, oh I see what you're doing. You're gonna flame sear them. Charbroiled. Some nice that Kobe... That cow noise. Some nice Kobe beef. Did that just... Remember, you can aim with triangle, by the way. Oh, yeah, I know. You want to take out some eagles or anything. Oh, yeah, that's what I could have done. Shit, I better climb back up and recharge this. Better start climbing! In all honesty, I didn't even jump down here. I could have just, uh... Guess that's the other orb. No, that's, uh, that's just gems. Oh. That's, a, that's an optional treasure hunt if you want to track that thing through the level and get a bunch of gems from it. Oh, okay. Fuck the birds. So then people, people were like joking about uh, that. Uh, at that point, it became a meme, and people were like, "Ramirez, take out that AC-130 with the fucking uh, tactical knife." Yeah. They're, so they're not cows. They're more like uh, they're cowlicks. Is what he called them. You know, little Bo Peep. So they just saw. They just watched Dukes of Hazard, right? Yeah. And they decided Bo was well, that's like almost a Bo Peep. Let's just make this silly character. Well, oh, oh yeah, Bo, Bo Duke driving down the gen driving the General Lee. They're almost kind of cute. They look a little like Star Wars. They look like Samurai Jack creatures. Oh yeah, they look like something Samurai Jack would totally save and or butcher in a violent rage. Yeah, depends on which season you watch. Yeah. There are no more time portals. Oh shit, we gotta get out of here, guys! Some of the, uh... Some of the high school girls on my bus... 
uh, have uh, just been started to sh started shouting I yeah recently. <laughs> And I have no idea if they got it from Jackie Chan, if it's something else, or if they just decided to be Chinese. Jackie! One more thing! I mean, they're still rewriting that show, right? No. Not that I'm aware. I mean, you gotta capitalize on the foreigner. Yeah, they gotta capitalize on the Jackie Chan, the wacky... Madcap yeah. antics that we I, no longer have. And when I say the foreigner, I, I I don't mean like an actual like. Oh freak. oh, the movie, right? Yeah. I didn't understand that at first, so I was a little confused. You will tell me what, who the bombers are. We have to capitalize on the foreigner. Are you talk the about foreigner. Jackie Chan. Yeah, 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 him in the main role of the movie, the foreigner in the movie. The opposite foreigner. Pierce, uh, uh, opposite Pierce Brosnan. We have to keep the memory alive now that Jade is dead. R.I.P. Jade. Obviously, this is one of the most fun missions in the game. Yep. Yeah, escort quests. This is, uh, pretty... I think you get more horizontal distance by charging them. Yeah, you're right. You always kind of forget you have the charge as an offensive ability. Well, it's a pretty risky maneuver. Yeah. It's like, hmm, flame Bounce. shot... Flame shot gun! Running headlong into something. Thanks, Pyro. Here's a little something, you know, for the effort. For the effort. Ever so kind of give me that orb. Oh, if only they were rerunning the old Jackie Chan cartoons. Those be the ones we talk about. There are two more comics out there somewhere, but I haven't seen them in days. So that's the second orb. Yes. Where are they? Actually, they were the two that you went up that ladder for. Those were supposed to be. The oh, first. really? So I think <laughs> if you just go further back, there are two more just lying what? around. <laughs> oh. There's, are they hanging out some? Oh, this level. What light from me on the window breaks? That window up there, dummy. Fuck I you! That he was working on a way to help me get back with Juliet, but I haven't seen him in a long time. You better end up dying. This is a big level. I just remembered that. Hey, Juliet. Get it? Because she's on the opposite side in the war! <laughs> I, the the I guess the cowlicks yeah. must be around here somewhere. Back here? No. Or over there? Just keep going, I guess. But, well, I'm sure we'll run into them. Ah. Wait, so how many orbs does this place have? You can see it. Oh, I'm sorry. I... I... Okay, four. That makes more sense. There's so one more cow at Corral. There's the Romeo and Juliet. And, uh... What is the last one? I think there are actually two in the Romeo and Juliet line. Like, you get one for getting halfway to her. Oh. Hey, Zell, you ever watch One Star Runner? I have not. I'm aware of it. I know a little bit about Sinbad, but... No, I... I Sinbad! Strong bad! Yeah, strong bad. No, Sinbad. Like, Sinbad, the, the you know Dreamworks, that show? The DreamWorks movie. <laughs> I've never seen that. I have that. We, that's not one we gotta watch. We watched Road to El Dorado and... Did that, we watched that, Prince of Egypt. We, I have... Okay, what I haven't watched is the Joseph in his Technicolor dream coat. So that would be new to me. Uh, Sinbad's not bad. I, I hear Sinbad and I can't help but think of Pirates of Dark Water. You remember that show? No. I remember There's Popeye. A, it was like a it was a pirate show in which uh, in which they were fighting like this other crew, but there was also something called Dark Water. It was really hostile. Uh, was that like the CW show? No, it was on Cartoon Network for a time. Oh, okay. It was like really, really early Cartoon Network. Like uh, it, like He Man kind of era. Uh, I believe so. Well, it might be later than that. I remember okay, the animation you have to being... charge across. I know. I figured that out this time. Okay. Might as well get the other one over here, right? They don't despawn if you leave. Okay, good. So much better than, uh, say, Mega Man spawns. As long as they don't die. Oh, thank God Jack yelled at Zelrock for calling Strong Bad Sinbad. <laughs> Happy to serve, uh, Derp Mega? Derp Mega? Oh, and I know. Trogdor! Trogdor! Partly because of Guitar Hero, but I knew about it before that. 
Uh, I think. Keep going. Keep, go keep going in the direction you were going in. Oh, this way? Yeah. Okay. Hello, Anvar. Good to see you again. Welcome back, Anvar. There he is. There's the straggler. And a bunch of uh, grass anuses. Aha! This ass is grass. I keep forgetting to bring this up when we do do Tamadachi. Apparently, now I, I mentioned before Big Booty Judy, we saw that in Town of Salem, so that wasn't our original idea, but yeah. apparently there are no less than like three songs called Big Booty Judy. At least two of which are rap songs. Oh, okay, what's the third one? Oh, I don't know. R&B, maybe? You know, singing the, the joys of sweet boot, Judy's booty. Yeah. Fuck. I didn't even notice the camera was on. Yeah, it's it's a little dark in here. We we had a lamp. We're, we're not using it right now. Well, we put it in the recording booth, because we didn't have a light in the recording booth. Now we don't have a light out here. See, see what you're seeing is a live session of Jack's After Dark. Literally, yeah. But, you know, all what? that's missing is the, is the sexy game. All you get to see is my, uh, like, creepy hentai protagonist glasses, which kind of just glinting in the camera. There are a remarkable number of hentai protagonists that look like me. I'm not too Gee, proud to say. I wonder why. Do I look like a rapist? No. Okay, specifically, it's like nurse shows. It's, it's specifically, it's like nurse shows. There's, uh... Like, there's always the evil doctor, well, or the evil professor. Yeah. Always looks like me. Well, because glasses are the smart are the tool used to denote smarty smart pants. It's a skinny guy with glasses and long brown hair. Every time. So Pooh, how was your trip to the hospital? Oh, the women there were nice. They kept cuddling on me. Oblivious Pooh. <laughs> you do another jackbox. You know what? You know what? I figured it out. Yeah? You know who, who Pooh would like to hang out with? Who? Big the Cat. Yeah? Just... Just Pooh and, and Piglet and Big and Froggy. <laughs> Froggy! Pooh Bear! <laughs> but gee, I don't know, maybe we should go in this club. Pooh. There were an awful lot of naked ladies in there. <laughs> They're not speaking. But big, we're talking about pussy. Because they, you, you should they, be right at home. They defeat Ewan. No, you know what? He'd be like, they kept saying that there was honey in there. They wanted to show me their honey pot. <laughs> Pooh. Yes, Pooh has a, I am impressed. Pooh has a terrible mishap with a honey bucket. Here's a fair reward. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a that'd be a cut episode of Winnie the Pooh. Actually, is there a Pooh cartoon? Oh yeah, that's right. Show the DVD. There's a, there's a Pooh cartoon on this. Uh, and there is. <laughs> I don't know what it's about. The uh, fucked up cartoons collection. Oh yeah, that's right. I bought that at Comic Con. Where is it? There we go. I bought it from a nice uh, old pirate. Yeah, we showed this on a previous uh, video. I have no idea how much is straight up porn. Uh, probably one's marked uh, porn. X-rated, that's probably the porn. Yeah, there's a, there's a Winnie the Pooh on there somewhere. Yeah, it's, uh... Oh. Oh, Pooh Apocalypse, that's the one. Oh, yeah. I don't know what it's about. <laughs> Do we record... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, yes, Zonvar, it exists! Oh, God, oh, no. It's some kind of edgy Pooh cartoon. Banned from TV. We should watch it. Yeah. Well, at the very least, if there's any one of those we should watch, we should watch that and, like... Record a live commentary for it. Yeah, we were talking about doing that recently. Is possibly doing uh, recording commentary as we watch anime. We should watch. We should start small, like stuff like that, and work our way up. If we did a, uh, we could either start. Well, do you think we could even stream the audio for that? For Poopocalypse? I'm sure we could. But what I'm about sure all the? Easy... How long is Poopocalypse? That's gonna be I... like ten. Who minutes. the fuck's gonna copyright claim? <laughs> Pooh Apocalypse! Uh, excuse me, you used my extre extremely offensive material. <laughs> Pay me, please. <laughs> Did Back down that way. Did we show it to Disney, what, they're gonna copyright claim that? Uh, obviously, it's not Disney made, it's some bootleg I know, thing. But, but do you think they'd still do it? You're they going the wrong way. Oh, we're, we're leaving this place. Yeah. We're going back to the big area with the grass anuses. You're right. The grass ass. 
there's actually, I've mentioned this to you a couple times, there is a good and very relevant documentary on, uh, on Remix, which is, you know, like what we do with a bridge, applies a lot to that. It's like a Remix Manifesto, I think it's called. Oh, there's a Manifesto now? I gotta read it. And, uh, keep going back to where the professor was. Alright. And uh, one, of, one of the guys they interviewed in that documentary is a dude who was fired from Disney because he kept drawing, like, Mickey and Minnie porn on his desk. Oh, yeah, and, and uh, Walt Disney himself looked at that, pretended to laugh, and then asked who it was. He raised his hand, and he was fired. Yeah, something like that. So they interviewed that dude at, like, a hundred and something years old. Oh, what did he say? Uh, he, he had some shit to say. I bet he did. Hey, uh, Jerp, if you, if we, next time we do movie night, I'll totally record it and record, like, uh, soundtrack and then we'll the post ground? it. Aiming the seed by holding down the triangle button will make this easier. Oh, okay, and Tom if you really need your seed back, just play no, it. Oh, it is probably Tom, and it will turn it? back into a yeah. seed again. He's putting on his best old man voice. So, uh, spit the seeds on the grass asses to, uh, grow them. Aha! You don't have the seed. Oh, I thought we did. No, you didn't pick it up. It becomes a platform. Yep. You have any more? Nope. You get one. I can Oh, no. You can flame them to turn them back to seeds, too. Okay. Oh, so that's useless. You need another seed before you can get there. Magic seeds. Yep. Hey, Derp, uh, if you want to, next time we do movie night, we can totally just record our... our um, and, you know what? I'm now disappointed that, uh, that, that Star Wars... That Star Wars session was lost. Yeah, Backstroke you get a lot of, of good content from that. Backstroke of the West. That was great. <coughs> but as it happens, I have found new shit to watch. So if, we, if we're gonna, should we do the fucked up cartoon party with everyone? God, just like rip the DVD and put it on on unlisted on YouTube or something. Well, some of that is porn, and I don't know if. Uh, okay, if, yeah, that's true. And also, there's some really racist shit on there, apparently. Yeah, that all also true. Oh, wait, no! That's another DVD that was being sold. I'm, su I'm sure there's plenty of racism on this disc, Jack. I wonder what the uh, pirate dude thought ripping that. Because he, he was a black gentleman. Was he? Yeah, he was. Oh, yeah. And he was like, and I was just like, I, I saw that, and I didn't think much of it, but now I'm thinking of it, and I'm like, man, that, that dude probably was like... It's historical. I mean, do you think do you think a Jewish person is like wants the history of the Holocaust erased? No, obviously not. Be all your sins remembered. Oh, this got, this got suddenly dark and very political. Are we streaming Monster Girl Quest again? Yay! I found another one. We need to be able to rehear everyone's reaction to that one crappy film Zellrog showed us. Eh. Oh, don't. Oh man. I thought it went okay, but yeah, not not everyone was a fan of it. what the, the dividing hour. That was what it was called. The I dividing liked, hour. From the plot wise, I liked it. It's just it. Most of the bad came from the production values. The production values, which were, you don't watch the that film for its production values. You no. watch it for. Uh, <coughs> Don't you watch it for the? I, I watched it for the production values, but come on. I well, guess the it just plot was pretty good. It wasn't enough to. Uh, I guess it just wasn't enough to make the gang laugh. You know, um, it would be a really good. Uh, the thing seems to be like crazy wuxia Hong Kong films. I crazy guess. wuxia Hong Kong films, or. Uh, Fuck it. Hey guys, you want to watch pro wrestling at some point? Stream some uh, crazy Japanese pro wrestling where they just drill each other with kicks. Now, how how like anal is the pro wrestling company with YouTube ID is the thing? You Japan? Uh, I guess it depends. They're very moody. Yeah. But we're not in Japan, so fuck us, right? <laughs> 
Yeah, so, yeah, that is true. I guess it depends on if they find it. Keep in mind, uh... It's pretty automatic these days, though. Yeah. If, if nothing else, we can we can always just uh, put up the audio, and then they can sync it up themselves. Well, we would have to have the... Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, if... I guess if we were... If it were doing it so that... If you're talking about movie night, you can get everyone to record an audacity, I guess, like we used to way back in the Jacks days. Oh yeah. But oh wait, no, they're uh, here's the, here's what. Keep in mind that Discord is becoming a thing now. We could hop on everybody on but Discord. If you were recording your computer audio, it would record the movie audio as well. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, if that's that's why. If you didn't want to record the movie audio, you would have to have them record. But I would want to because that would help. But that's sync what's it up. gonna get content. I need. Audio? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Just the audio. Just the audio is gonna get content. I then we would need to switch hosts to like SoundCloud or something. What? Yeah, yeah. Uh, commentary is more. Uh, uh, there's no point if it's not on YouTube. If we put a video on YouTube saying, "Hey guys, the commentary is over here." I think we we can put it on YouTube it, as long as like it, with anime, if the audio is quite is wide enough, I don't think it'll be an issue. But it's just a matter of uh, again. Or the rest is the wrestling company more strict than the anime audio people? That's the question. Oh yeah, that's right. Dirk can't use Discord. Oh yeah. Anyway, if we if we do if we do anime with us like we we're talking about, it would have to include the audio because of our recording setup. Yeah. And uh, I think if we started, we would either start with half of Paranoia Agent or maybe like Fully Cooley as a test. Oh, Fully Cooley, totally. That's a single run through series. Fully Cooley is a fucked up series. Single session series. Yeah. It's six episodes. Well, I mean, I, I don't mean fucked up as in it's like really fucked up. Also, we could do a thing where we like find anime series we never watched and we just go into the first episode kind of blind and see what our reactions are. Yeah, if we want to do like a sample platter. Yeah, like uh, remember that one uh, anime we well, I don't remember the name, but it was like the first scene was like a dead body being carted into a shrine. This uh, dude was like watching this go down, and after he saw a person rise from the grave, he's like, "Yeah, I'm leaving. Bye." Was that Corpse Princess? I think so. it was like Corpse something, Zombie Girl. I think it was Corpse Princess or something along those lines. Uh. What else? Oh, I just I just realized if it's just the audio, you know, we could uh, we could get away with watching hentai. I could finally get you to watch Night Shift Nurses, and we have audio of your reactions. Oh my God, Night Shift Nurses! You know what? It's no worse than like uh, Brad Jones reviewing porn. So yeah, I'm down. Oh, that's what I need to do. Okay, I I you, I you finally spotted. I the forgot grass I had a seed. Yeah. I forgot. I'm like, what the fuck? Where am I supposed to jump off to? This is an interesting puzzle concept, though, is sort semi-portable platforms. Wait, Dirt, you read Night Shift Nurses? No, he's talking about Fully Cool. Okay, good. Yeah. I don't think there a was a series. I don't know what that's gonna be about. Or when it's coming out. I think... I think is it gonna have, uh... I know it involves a female star. Not Simone, or not Simone. Whatever his name is. Not Simone. That's another, uh, that's another Gynax fuck. Gynax protagonist. Oh, them good Gynax fucks. Gynax fucks are the best fucks. <coughs> the breasts are so bouncy. Or, you know, we can do some, some tamer hint. F3. Oh, yeah. The, the, the fake Rumiko Tama Takahashi one. That one's tame enough for you. Yeah. We could, we could fi that'll be finally an excuse to watch Slayers again. It'll be uh, after dark, but with the uh, audio. The, uh, and plus, it'll give us an excuse to watch Slayers again. You want to watch through the entirety of Slayers I again? I love Slayers. It's a very, yeah. It's not well, a bad series, but it's very long. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you stream to several platforms. Well, Twitch and YouTube. So we could, uh... We could, we could stream to YouTube if we wanted to do the anime stuff there. Yeah. In the, theory. It, YouTube is rampant with people just streaming Rick and Morty episodes with no consequences. Everything else. Well done, So we boy. can jump in on that. There are two more seeds to get you the rest of the way. Oh, and take this with you if you don't mind. It's been cluttering up my pockets. As long as we don't, like... Here, I have a pity orb. Aren't we collecting the orbs for you, though? For your, like, like, your portal? I found this! You better keep a hold of it! It'll be safer with you than with me. Wait, wait, there's two more seeds? Yes. Okay. You, you solved half the puzzle. Alright. 
Excellent. <coughs> oh no. Oh. Oh yes. Fuck. You're, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah? You monsters! You come up with a discovery? Nine Nine Derp, thanks for joining Thank us. Okay, can I just land it so that it's kind of on the platform? Or do I have to shoot it up there? What? The seed. They put two seeds down for a reason. Yeah? Trying to think about what they're trying to they want me to do. I'm enjoying watching you overthink this. Fine. Okay, okay, I got it now. Yeah? I think I got it. Come on, get up there. Get on up! Come on, get on up, like six machine. Get on up. Uh, back when I was still living in Seattle, one of my neighbors was a was a, a, a dude who would like play like a bunch of funky stuff. Yeah. Like, in, in the middle of the day, just loud enough for anybody near to hear. Yeah. Very weird. Met the dude. Very nice. Tried to show me nudes of his girlfriend, uh, like, unwarranted, but... Is she hot? That, that's not the issue here. The issue is that, uh, is that I didn't ask for it. Yeah? But how will you please the second brass ass? I knew it. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. Hail Mary! Alright, new plan. I will shoot it up here. Yeah? Well, oh my god! The range is kind of short. Yeah! Uh, oh. Alternatively, and I'm just gonna throw this out there, you could just carry it across. That, that was an option. But that wasn't as cool as just throwing it up there. Yeah? I would have it's like juggling items in Spelunky. I kind of want to see a speedrun of this game. Like 100%. Yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of them out there. Be right back, moving platform. <laughs> So how much improved do you think this is over Spiral 1? Oh, very improved. Like, there's a map that I don't really- that I haven't really been paying attention to, but... Hey, Juliet, I'm here! Romeo! Romeo! Where for art thou, Romeo? Oh, there's Romeo! You can have this! I don't need it anymore! So at some point you were called Jules, right? Yeah. So obviously just money bags putting on a girly accent. <laughs> Wonderful voice. Thank you, Onwar. So we just came up there and she just flew down of her own accord, which she could have done at any time. There's a truce! Oh, I can go now! Awesome! Spyro has slain both armies. So we got all the orbs, right? That's all of them? Yeah. That's all of them. You can save and leave now. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, well, that's one down. How many more of these levels are there? In this seven? Okay. Sounds good. We've been going a good while, if you want to call it now. Alright, let's, let's call it. This is, uh... Oh, hey! They're providing them the food they needed. Is that a bird with a mullet? Uh, a bird with a helmet, maybe. Juliet's our queen now. 
It seemed less like uh, less like a hostile act, like a hostile war, and more like just two guys palling around. Yeah. All right. So safe. We already. But I'll do it. That was in the level. I don't know if it. I think it auto saves every time you enter and exit a level. So I guess this is just to be absolutely sure. Yeah. Remember, remember when this game has auto save and Sonic 06 does not. Yeah. There are a lot of modern games without auto save. Fucking stupid, man. All right, that that was Spyro, and we played uh, Mario RPG for the first time in a long time. Yeah, we'll play it like more sooner, and hopefully the. Uh, Hopefully the YouTube video split or I'm going to have some editing to do. Yep. See and you later, guys. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Me and my hentai glasses.